Check it out. We should be coming in live. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today is, what is today? August 30th, 2020 and wow, wow, wow. What a year, what a summer, what interesting times. And today is Sunday and we've done a few of these over the summer. We're doing Sunday comic book readings. We did actually a reading yesterday as well with uh, That's So Julian, an independent comic out of uh, the UK, I believe. But it came to me from Portugal, so it might be out of Portugal, out of uh, uh, Europe. Uh, so, Elder God, how you doing? <laughs> You're the first one in. <laughs> nice. It's early afternoon for you, or mid-afternoon for you, so that's cool. It's a nice start to the day reading comic books, I guess. Um, and today what we're going to do is we have f four comic books to choose from, right? I'm not sure how many comic book readings we've done this summer, but we've done a fair bit. Uh, we've done a nice share of comic book readings, which is fantastic, fantastic. And uh, today the selection is Valiant Comics, XO Man of War, number one. Okay. We got Kid Colt, 107, Jack Kirby cover. The cares a lot of the cares are Jack Kelly as well. We got crime does not pay uh, 116. Okay, and this is from 1952. This one is 1962. This one is 1992. And we got Batman the cult number one selection. And this one is 1988. Jim Starlin, Bernie Wrightson. And we'll wait for notifications to go out. Um, it is a Sunday morning, so we'll see how many people pop in and how fast notifications goes out. I think today's notification has taken a while uh, to pop in, maybe seven readings. No, notific no notifications yet. Yeah. So we've done seven readings so far this summer. So we're, we're averaging about one a week uh, for the, since July, I guess, which isn't bad. Hopefully we can keep this pace up and uh, at least for September and uh, do at least four more readings, at least finish off this set this summer for sure. And then uh, I'll hit up the boxes and pull up more. Twitch just went out. Twitch just went out. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Good, good, good. I'm not sure about Discord. I'm, this Discord usually goes out sooner from what I understand. But uh, I'm going to do my intro while we wait for people to roll in. Thanks, Elder God, by the way, for keeping me posted. Uh, if you want to follow this work, Flame, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho, how are you doing? You're doing fantastic on a Sunday morning. Loving it. Loving it. I harvested a lot of grapes yesterday and made, like, grape syrup and put half of them in the, in the fridge on Charter Days. Hello, hello. Cheryl, how's it going? How's life? <laughs> now this chord went out. Awesome. Gang, if you want to follow this work, I'm on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. If you want to follow this work, if you want to support this work, if you know what this is all about, Patreon is a great way to do so. Boop. <laughs> right. I don't put anything behind paywalls. Everything in Creative Commons. Share and share alike. Follow the work. If you like it, if you do have the means, support this work through Patreon if you can. Uncharted Ace, hope you're doing good indeed. Lonely Piggy, how's it going out east? How's life, brother? Getting colder here in Montreal. I'm anticipating another hard winter. I hope not. I got my fingers crossed, mild, gentle. Ahoy, how you doing? But it is getting colder here as well. I got my toucan. <laughs> toucan for a comic book reading. Eagles of Cycling, hey. Where is the best place to buy vintage comics in England, in Europe, eBay, I guess. Uh, the problem with eBay from a lot of people that I've mentioned from UK is the shipping costs. They're insane. The shipping costs are crazy to Canada now, so I don't even know what it would be to the UK. Uh, but I'm, there are, like, I've seen some sellers on UK on eBay that have amazing deals. Like, I've bought from UK sellers before. I bought five copies of legends of geomancer number one for a pretty good price smith the man the legend how are you doing cheryl send the cold and snow to pennsylvania is it still hot there cheryl wow 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 
we didn't have a very hot summer i'm hoping we have at least one more month of nice warm sunny weather here i got plants that have are flowering that i need i want them to grow bigger buds <laughs> graham yeah you can send some of that uh some of that winter my way too wow hello god i'm so glad mario is not in there <laughs> or have i spoken too soon no mario today rambo how are you doing out east what up what up graham it was like 114 yesterday man send some of your sun up our way man i wouldn't mind some of that heat on try today so you can get some great deals in uk but they can be few and far in between yeah i haven't seen too many but there are some that i've wanted to get especially uh, warrior comics and um uh, what do you call it uh yeah the 2000 and ad and uh first appearance of tank girl and stuff like that right cheryl not as bad we finally got some rain but almost no winter last year wow and i don't think i can take another mild winter really rambo it is cold in germany today cool zabrowski good morning i was just watching your uh video on the man vod <laughs> now you can catch it live <laughs> we are live streaming on twitch by the way gang uh if you want to be here during these live streams and participate in the chat chat twitch is where it's at right and for those of you who've been supporting this work through patreon thank you very much for the support for those of you who are supporting this work through twitch following subscribing thank you for the uh support and the discussions and mod thank you for taking care of business eagles yeah um uh, prague is chilly and cloudy all day uh cozy couch winter weather nice nice <laughs> rambo thanks brother i appreciate it it might be the goatee or the tux or the comic book readings vc how are you doing <laughs> yeah yes did you see the new batman trailer? i have looks pretty good i'm glad uh uh what's his name the other batman's not in it uh, i forgot his uh name we're getting some 417 celsius now these past few days i don't like it it's too soon yeah lonely piggy in the mornings we're down to 14. Uh, during the day it's getting 19 20 21 degrees celsius i'm hoping for more man i got an amazing deal for harbinger in the uk but i'm trying to get a complete run of simpsons comics and it's difficult at a good price cool harbinger is pretty good man i've noticed people coming in to the pub in jackets oh no ben affleck yeah a ben affleck batman the worst batman so bad so bad that was ben affleck having <laughs> a nervous breakdown <laughs> catholic traditions good afternoon folks hope you are having a blessed sunday you too catholic traditionalist graham i thought uh ben affleck was terrible yeah me too graham me and you on the same page on that one was terrible ramble says it as well by the way gang just a just a note i don't want to dampen things or whatnot uh, send a little thoughts and love to one of our mods coolio that's probably not here right now they're dealing with some family issues and uh, he's been uh, uh, lots of love deserves to go his way okay i do announce these live streams on lo vk minds gap parlor and twitter for now okay 30 minutes before we go live we do share some additional contents as well and uh, if you want to follow this work those platforms are a good way to follow uh, this content as well and all the links will be in the description of this video and our social networking links and whatnot when we're not uh, having any visuals live streaming with any visuals which we are right now we're usually recording with a lapel mic and the audio uh, is being uploaded to soundcloud.com uh, forward slash chicho chycho as podcast and they should be available on your favorite podcasting platform and we will be uploading this video to youtube and bit it's a 
comic book reading so safe for youtube and everything goes on bitshoot of course and you can support this work by following subscribing sharing commenting liking and if you're on youtube by joining youtube membership aside from that gang welcome to another live stream uh, i like the combat of ben affleck's batman very brutal very brutal do you think that ben affleck was worse than uh clooney oh yeah ah uh, well, clooney was pretty bad too uh, but ben affleck i just don't like him he's brutal the, the guy val kilmer i didn't mind val kilmer i don't mind val kilmer i think is a good actor uh clooney yeah clooney wasn't that good either clooney and ben affleck are on the same level they're obviously uh, their politics is brutal if you remember clooney in the times of sudan going around and why is a hollywood actor going around saying that sudan must be broken up and ben affleck is propaganda of the yin yang right in justice league batman was just a side <laughs> tr trucker tr trucker tractor tractor he had no power i'm watching the series the boys it's great so far yeah the boys is really good rambo clooney was the worst ben affleck was the worst clooney was right behind him hello everybody envious how are you doing heath ledger still the best heath ledger was fantastic as a joker very very good adam west in my bad is, is my bad <laughs> nice crap pow 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 <laughs> new season comes in september nice the boys christian bale is my man uh what's his name uh, from the 1980s was really good Oh, let me take these guys down. Best is Bale by far. Second comic stream in a row. Second comic book reading stream in a row. Nice, nice. Clooney was a bat visa card. Uh, Eagles yeah most uh celebrities are pretty dang annoying when they share their insanely privileged opinions indeed or they're just uh what do you call it uh they're part of deep state they're they they are saying what they need what they've been told to say yeah michael keaton i like michael keaton batman as far as i'm concerned michael keaton batman was uh for me was the best batman uh, i liked them christian bale was the best man yeah a lot of people say christian bale uh, davish dava dava shish pandi dava shish pandi <laughs> i don't know where to put the break davish is davish i have no idea dava how are you doing what no love for michael keaton oh cheryl you're michael keaton as well i i'm michael keaton i think he was the best batman keaton will return as batman no joke <laughs> michael keaton was awesome in the film mr mom strange i watched batman uh, 1989 last night i remember watching it at the cinema in a five pound t-shirt nice uh -huh. it's indian it's indian ah that's why that's why I have a hard time pronouncing it. Michael Keaton was the best Birdman too. <laughs> Mr. Mom is awesome, is it? I haven't seen Mr. Mom. I like Michael Keaton though. He was a good actor, or he is a good actor. We don't want uh, we don't want another major death in the acting. Keaton and Affleck are set to star in the upcoming Flash movie. Really, Flashpoint. Wow, going back in time. I don't. Uh, know how how big either of their roles will be though yeah i can't see it being big i think it depends on who you grew up watching uh, me personally i grew up with the dark knight trilogy so i prefer bail yeah great 80s comedy mr mom oh i think i've seen it the when uh yeah yeah he's taking care of the kids and stuff i think so i think i've seen it i think we need canadian batman <laughs> what's what's his name uh jim kirk 
He'll take on Batman and sleep with Catwoman. We will do a poll again uh, for which comic we're reading. Yeah. Are we all in, gang? We're 15 minutes in. Should we do a poll? We are forcing ourselves towards the cult. The cult. I know lots of discussion about the cult. Gang, here are the choices we have for this week's reading. Right? We got Valiant Comics. First appearance of Exo Man of War. Okay. Uh, Jim Shooter, Bob Layton, Barry Windsor Smith pencils. Important comic. Came out in 1992. We got Kid Colt. Marvel Comics. Script by Stan Lee. Okay. The cover art is Jack Kirby. The pen, uh, the inking for the cover is Dick Ayers. There's uh, Dick Ayers sto uh, artwork in here. And Jack, uh, Jack Keller artwork in here. All the scripts are by Stan Lee. We got, and this one is 1962. We got Crime Does Not Pay from 1952. So we got Golden Age, Silver Age, Modern Age comics. 1952. Okay. It's uh, John Dillinger story in here. Lev Gleason. Okay. It's one of the main titles that came out uh, during the golden age of comic books. They would sell millions of copies of these. Okay. And we got Batman the Cult. It's part one of a four part uh, mini series prestige format that was released in 1988 and the story is by Jim Starlin and the artwork is Bernie Wrightson okay and Bill Ray did the colors for this those are our choices uh, we need no we're gonna we're gonna knock these ones down before we bring more choices in unless I do a comic book haul where people say we should read and then we read okay because we do need to read these these are in these comic books aside from this one this one was from a the kid cult was from a comic book hall someone mentioned that we should do a reading on it so we got it off for choice for reading but these three comic books the cult crime does not pay an exo man of war are from our reading set number four that we announced like two three years ago right that we're slowly trying to make our way through uh, but as soon as we finish reading these four I'll bring out another five and we do unless I introduce from a comic book hall another one to top it up or whatnot right yeah new Batman's pretty skinny but I'm okay with skinny I don't man one thing I'll, I'll mention I'm tired of big bulky superhero like Batman being all puffed up like a steroid junkie and stuff like this I don't to me that's not um it the way it would be right like one of the greatest fighters in history human history was bruce lee bruce lee was not a muscle bound steroid junkie he was a fighter right uh muhammad ali was one of the greatest fighters there was right um tyson given he was a tank right powerhouse uh so and one of the things I really don't like is that that's one of the reasons I loved All Star Superman with Grant Morrison. Okay, because they didn't draw Superman as this bulky, muscle bound person, right? He, Superman doesn't need to be that. His little pinky could take out anyone, right? So when 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 I see Superman taking a flying punch towards someone, I'm like, dude. You know what you're doing that'll knock a planet out of the orbit right so i personally am not a huge fit fan favorite of bulky superheroes unless they're meant to be bulky right graham chicho uh could we ever do a comic book reading like we do the movie club where we throw uh, i'll suggest it sure sure for sure the the problem is my comic books aren't organized very well so if by the way this is a open invitation gang when we do comic book haul videos if there's any comic books that you would like read 
from those comic book haul videos keep in mind we do have comic books we've selected previously that we want to read but if there's any comic books that you guys want read like for example this is from a comic book haul and we've done these before uh let me know just make a comment and uh if we can we'll add it to our reading list and we'll read right but i do love reading my comic book haul so if there's anything that we do that you like it let us know and we'll do it it's vin vince how are you doing daredevil wasn't buffed and he was fucking amazing agreed agreed right he was amazing what i loved about this uh batman is that he doesn't know how to stop bulk is a negative uh to fully fighting ability elder god i agree with elder god 100 percent the bulky people their stat their their endurance isn't very good okay they're not very flexible in general not all there, there are some very flexible bulky people that i that i've known uh but it it doesn't help right cheryl poll is ready let me know when you like to okay awesome cheryl gang should we do should we do i do want to see venom legends of the dark knight number two i just <laughs> rambo and be ready for an earthquake in canada <laughs> rambo just let one go everyone hold on tight uh, i'm living proof very bulky and not able to fight oh really envious need a petite cannon <laughs> gang let's do a poll cheryl should we run it run it let's do it let's see what we're gonna read today let's see what we're gonna comic book that's it the poll is up gang you want to place in your bets place in your bets spider-man how's it going <laughs> anything spider-man is good for me poll time let's see what we got we got the cult with one vote we got crime does not pay oh cult is three votes crime does not pay cult is four votes crime does not pay is two votes and we got exo with one vote and poor kid colt is sitting in the in the gates we got four and four for crime does not pay and the cult wow 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 crime does not pay is making it up cult is at number five cult has got five votes going in wow wow six and five six for cult five for crime does not pay look at this look at this an exo sitting at one and kid colt is just chilling in the gates chilling in the gates look at this look at this i'm i'm casting for my vote gang i'm going with exo <laughs> exo's got two <laughs> give exo another little bit more love right so we're sitting at six votes for the call five votes for crime does not pay and two for exo okay and crime does not on uh, the cult is jim starlin and bernie writes and exo's got three now okay crime does not pay is lev gleason publications and from 1952 so we've got a golden age versus a modern age from 1988 or actually 1988 is bronze age i believe is it not so we got a bronze age so right now in our polls in our selection we got golden age we got silver age we got bronze age we got modern age what a selection kit kit colt gets one vote very nice very nice kit colt is at one exo is at three crime does not pay is at five and batman is at six okay old versus modern very much so and the cult wins it comes down to the wire so we had six for the cult five for crime does not pay three for xo and one for kid cult and the cult takes it all that batman talk it was going to be the cult it was well almost the cult right almost the cult nice and here's the close call very close call very close call and by the way here's the covers for the rest of them okay this is book two i'll show you guys once we get into the reading finally my favorite batman story nice 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 and i think we're gonna have to start doing uh these comic book readings a little bit later on during the day because the sun is coming up later now and it's coming through the side windows and hitting us so uh we'll try to figure things out i was just thinking that you might you must be over the moon the elder god oh yeah because he loves the cult 
bad man and this is it's a amazing 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 story arc one of batman's favorite um best story arcs okay jim starlin bernie wrightson you guys are in for a treat elder god are you so catholic Joseph says to elder god are you sure you would not rather hear another super mario brothers reading instead <laughs> envious can you tell again uh when the comic was released first this one was 1988 um, okay 1988 and I'll, we'll talk about it as soon as we get into the reading i'll do the intro for it my birthday right on envious right on happy birthday <laughs> what month was this in i don't have the month down for this actually so okay so gang i'm gonna turn off notifications i'm gonna have a sip of tea first by the way yeah happy happy year birthday envious 1988 i'm not sure what month this was released in and you're in october october baby so let me turn off our notifications i'm gonna let the chat go gang okay and the chat's down i'm gonna take my camera out where are we and I'll see you guys after the reading. Okay. Fun. We got the glare going on. We got the glare going on. Hold on, let me do this as well. And we're about half an hour in, which is great. Which is good timing. Gives us plenty of time to read Batman the Cult. Hi everyone welcome to my channel and welcome to another comic book reading today is august 30th 2020 and we're doing our second comic book reading uh in two days we did one yesterday and we're doing one today we're live streaming this and we did a poll and we had a choice between four books and batman the cult was the winner so we're gonna read batman the cult number one okay book one it is a prestige format okay mini series that came out in 1998 and the writer for this is jim starlin the artist is bernie wrightson the colors uh were done by bill ray and the lettering was done by john costanza okay and uh jim starlin is huge 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 uh if you like the infinity gauntlet you got jim starlin to thank for the infinity gauntlet okay he he was basically the brains behind that we're gonna take this out so it doesn't get the glare too much there we go get the camera to focus on it okay and he done a lot of work a lot of batman stories a lot of captain marvel stories he created he worked on epic illustrated a lot right he created uh, uh dread star and uh and again infinity gauntlet uh adam warlock he co-created a lot of characters including drax and gamora and thanos okay bernie wrightson a legend uh one of the greatest horror artists there is and there ever 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 will be he was huge in uh, making swamp thing popular uh he did a tremendous amount of work he did a lot of work uh for house of mystery house of secrets a lot of horror stuff frankenstein okay i'm not i don't know about bill ray uh very much uh, how many books he's colored and stuff like this but this is issue number one and each of these books had its own name this one is referred to as ordeal book one ordeal and these are the covers for issue number two and you can get this on the cheap gang okay if you want a fantastic batman story and you want the original first prints of the story 
Batman the Cult, relatively speaking, it's going for a lower price than it was in the late 1980s, early 1990s. Okay. So you should be able to get a really good deal on this. This is Batman the Cult number two. Beautiful covers. Okay. This is Batman the Cult number three. And number two is referred to as capture. Okay. Number three is escape. And this is the cover for it. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And number four is combat. And again, a beautiful cover and Batman looks like he's holding a shotgun. Oh my, oh my. Is Batman losing it? And yeah, these comic books, someone's mentioning that these comics are in mint condition. Indeed, they are. They're beautiful condition. Uh, I do have another set of this. That was my reading set, I believe. But it's buried somewhere. <laughs> in one of the boxes so we're gonna read a mint copy of batman the cult let me put issue number two three and four on one side okay. and this one again came out in 1988 so let's crack it open I wish I had my own grading company. After a reading, we just put it in a slab and grade it. <laughs> Look at this. What a beautiful copy. What a beautiful book. What a beautiful book. Look at this. And this is like there's, you go along the spine, there's no dents. It's let me show it to you this way maybe it shows better the glare on this thing is absolutely beautiful and again it's a thick format book right this would be graded at at least a 9.8 9.8 9.9 9 .9. what is a 10 that's the beauty of having your own collection right you can read mint mint beautiful copy books and for these live streams we do we do we do we do look at that what a beautiful book what a beautiful book <laughs> love it love it and this is the back cover what does that say my present reality is not a pretty sight it is a thing of agony and delirium welcome to batman's world right welcome to batman's world Maybe because of this, we would give it a 9.9. .9. <laughs> right. Batman. Batman is not having a good day. Shattered. Shattered.
Beautiful. Now we're just going to straight out read this book. We're not going to flip through it. But we are going to like this thing. This thing's going to be hard to read like this. Oh my god. You're going to hear cracks on this. Let's read the fine print. Wow. Oh wow, this is signed. Oh wow. I didn't know this was a signed book. Is that a Jim Starlin signature? It looks like a Jim Starlin signature again. Oh snap. Let me check number two and number three and number four. Are these going to be signed? Let's check it out. 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 <laughs> oh, so this one's in the same shape, like amazing book. Okay, this one's not signed. So we got number one signed here. Okay. And that's the kicker with uh, I have some books signed and stuff by artists. And uh, I don't know which ones are signed or not because I really didn't chase signed books very much. So, wow, wow, wow. We're reading a cult number one signed by Bernie Ratson. And check out the price on this, right? This thing came out in 1988 and the cover price on it was 350 us 475 canadian right and it is a beautiful cover gotham city sewers district 9 1 would the next one be a one right. beautiful cover look at the footprints blood stained footprint prints blood stained handprints right very nice cover and classic batman what batman does he's kneeled over crouched over the manhole right just looking at it analyzing it because batman is truly a detective first and foremost right and this is embossed so these are like this that you see here is embossed so it's raised so when you run your finger through it's uh batman's glove is raised up and the manhole covers are raised up okay and the writing on the manhole is raised up and same with the cult the logo is raised up okay So the manhole is raised up, the glove is raised up, and the logo is raised up. Oh my, this is going to be a tough read. Let's check it out. Batman, created by Bob Kane, The Cult. Let's read the fine print. Published. Published by DC Comics, copyright 1988, DC Comics Incorporated, all rights reserved. The story, characters, and incidents featured in this publication are entirely fictional. Batman and all related characters and the distinctive likeliness thereof and all related indica, indicia, indicia, are trademarks of DC Comics Incorporated. DC Comics Incorporated. 666 fifth avenue new york new york 10103 a warner communication company printed in canada first printing cover painted by bernie wrightson publication design by keith wilson cool Oh my, how are we going to do this? Look at that, right? Here we go. Here we go again. 
Let's read Batman the Cult. Look at that. This is insane. So it's a old house on a hill. And there's a guy coming up the path. Look at the path. Right. There's a guy coming up the path. We don't know who that is yet. This is insane. I don't remember ever having seen this house before, even though I've passed this way many times. It's a ghastly apparition. apparition. It doesn't belong here on Wayne Estates. It's crazy, almost surreal. Red sky. Sunset. I know I should run to my father, report the strange trespass, but something within the house beckons me. I'm enthralled by its irresistible allure. I can feel the sweat trickle down my back. My heart's pounding within my chest. I don't belong here. Perhaps it's that sweat, sweet taste of the forbidden that entices me to stay. four long panels beautiful and we see this type of panel structure is basically time is passing by right there's danger here death I savor this fear that tries to overwhelm me I can't hurt it can't hurt me I'm young and vulnerable I'm a great adventurer seeking to unlock a deep mystery it's just like in the storybooks I'll discover the hidden secret and live happily ever after won't I Beautiful artwork. Look at the details there. Wow. Look at the cannon. Get it to focus. The glare is not allowing it. The door at the end of the hall makes me begin to doubt this absolute truth. There's something sinister behind it. Look at that. Something cold and infinite awaits me. My spirit breaks and screams for me to run. 
To my horror, I opened the door instead. I can't help myself. Compulsion. Each step downwards bring me closer to fear. It was only toying with me before. I know that now. Why did I come to this dreadful place? Why was I so foolish? Unless questions now. The fear waits. Useless questions now. The fear waits. Oh, there's a little dungeon door right there. Beautiful. Beautiful perspective, eh? the only thing i have to decide now is whether to face the fear head on or no i can't oh, he, does he open it himself no he doesn't the door just opens up i guess it doesn't matter Oh, look at this. The Joker balances up. Bye bye. Look at that. No matter where you run, fear will seek you out. It is undeniable, unstoppable. Merciless. All a bad joke. What does the Joker have to say? My, what have we got here? Such a cute little boy. Just my type. No reason to be scared of old Uncle Joker. He's only here to educate and entertain you, just like Sesame Street. <laughs> nice. Today we're going to study science. We're going to learn something about biology. Oh, look at that. Let's find out what effects 30 exploding sticks of dynamite have on the human body. Close out the, the lighter. Oh, don't be such a wet blanket, Brucey. Lay back and enjoy. Everyone loves a good fireworks display. No, Bruce says. So now we know it's Bruce Wayne, right? <laughs> Look at 
Bruce's eye. Look at the grin on the Joker. Look at the color work. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Joker laughs. Look at that. Oh, and the eye sees a skeleton. Uh, so Joker, April Fools. You say it is an April 1st? Guess the joke's on me. <laughs> Beautiful. Magical. Boy, oh boy. You should have seen your face, Lordy. I wish I caught that on videotape. You're a very sick individual, Bruce says. You shouldn't have done that, Joker. Bruce is pissed off. Wow, look at this, he's transforming into the Batman. I've taken more than enough of your garbage. Too many people have died because of you. Those poor souls haunt my nightmares. No more, no more, no more. Oh, what's he pulling out? Oh, he's pulling out a bat. Oh, son, he's got, I think that's a bat in his hand. Oh, no, it's not a bat, that's an axe. Oh, look at this. Enough madness, enough death, enough, 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 Batman says. wings oh look at that he has joker in the neck it feels great why did i wait so long if i'd known it would it would be so satisfying i would have done it this i would have done this a long time ago just takes down the joker look at that he's hacking away at the joker I would have done done this a long time ago a long time ago long time ago time ago ago too bad it's just a dream too bad it's just a dream the same damnable dream i've been having all week if I were superstitious, I might think it an omen, but I don't believe in such things. Bruce Wayne firmly rooted to reality. That's me. I know a dream when I see it, Bruce says, or thinks. He's totally bloody, look at that. Coloring is absolutely beautiful. I don't. So previous to this, he said, I know dream when I see it. I don't, he says.
now. No matter how, no matter how hard you try, it always comes back to the now. My present reality, not a pre-sight, is a thing of our agony and delirium. I've been down here in the sewers at least a week, maybe longer. Hard to tell, no sunrise or sunset, just pain and the drowning. And these two, the present reality, reality is not a pretty sight. It's a thing of agony and delirium. So it's been tortured, right? And these two is what we read at the back cover, right? They took it out of this beautiful color work. Look at that. Look at the detail in that. Wow. I call this one rat face <laughs> they live over a thousand years ago these Indians call themselves the Maya Maya Gani the people they were fools God had sent them a heavenly messenger or savior, but these heathens were too blind to see the glory that was theirs. The savages thought their shaman, an evil and cruel man, a tyrant. They couldn't face, they couldn't accept the all father's strict discipline. Troublemakers within the tribe fond fanned the flames of discontent they turned their band away from the light a hardcore group of dissent dissenters joined with chief pale bear demanding that the shaman leave the tribe the chief was jealous of the shaman's power but the shaman would not be silenced he was the chosen one his word and gods were one his word and gods were one The Almighty's anger struck down the chief. Unfortunately, the dark forces were powerful that day. The shaman tried to rally his powers, but the blasphemers numbers were too great. His light faded. Oh, they hit him over the head with the ax as well. Shoot him with arrows and then a spear comes out. but stubbornly refused to be extinguished altogether. 
that is the infuriating nature of righteousness even the corrupt fools soon realized that they could not murder the truth so they chose to bury it from view they hoped that a hidden truth would be a forgotten truth he tried to warn them of the folly of their ways even then he would have forgiven them they take him into a cave and tie him up look at the spear sticking out of him For the shaman was truly a merciful man, but the treacherous braves turned the deaf ear to him. Ah, oh, then they block him into the cave. That was their gravest error. That was their blackest sin. A totem was erected in front of the shaman's tomb. It warned that evil spirits were buried within. The ultimate irony no but the heathens would not succeed in their base villainy the glory of shaman blackfire refused to remain entombed shaman blackfire is it do you really expect me to buy into that load of batman says it would be best if you did the little rat man says it is the word and it is good feels like a call to eh? very cool very cool shadow work and this is beautiful the longer you resist the truth the greater will be our will be your pain smack patience my son someone says in the background those who have not seen the light must be given time to accept the divine nobility of our cause You see the shadow He's speaking don't you recall your own skepticism when you first joined the fold you must also remember that Batman is soon to be an underworld brother deacon says shaman blackfire that's him deacon joseph blackfire he looks like the redeemer he pretends to be powerful confident Batman's thinking I could almost believe no I can't allow myself to think that way to even consider the possibility Batman thinks. that's what Blackfire wants he wants me to doubt to weaken if that happens 
He's one. Then, Blackfire shelter for the homeless. I remember the first time I saw him. His crime, crime ally mission, Ali mission, had just opened that day. The deacon had chosen a tough neighborhood to set up his shelter. Thought I'd keep an eye on it, on it. See, he didn't run into any trouble. There's Batman, right? In the shadows keeping tabs on the deacon but as it turned out the shelter got along fine without any help from me I soon forgot about it of course it was about then that I started having trouble of my own there's Commissioner Gordon right so that's Commissioner Gordon Batman checking over a corpse. Someone's uh, been killed. This is the sixth hood who's been worked over in the last week. Everyone thinks as you're doing. Not guilty, Commissioner, Batman says. So maybe that guy's not dead, just worked over. It's Commissioner Batman talking. I've been busy stopping a burglary at the uh, art museum. Your own men will back me up on that. I didn't mean I, Commissioner says. Did this biker see his attacker? No, he got hit from behind. Attackers? Oh, he said plural, Batman. Did this biker see his attackers? No, he got hit from behind. And then Commissioner Gordon asked attackers. And there's lots of footprints on the snow here. Check it out. Cool. From what I can tell from these footprints, I'd say there were at least four of them. Odd, the heels on all these sh shoes are heavily worn down. Was the victim robbed? Batman asks no commissioner says and there's a homeless guy carrying his uh, belongings with him dragging his belongings with him right then my guess is that you've got someone other than me trying to clean up these streets wonder who they are batman says now he's back in the cave or back in the sewers i was like him when i first comes here didn't want to hear squat of course i was kind of heavy into the sauce back then the guy says look at that it's beautiful And you got Batman on this side. Look at the contrast. Thought my old drinking buddies was crazy, hauling me down here into the sewers. Look at that. It's the homeless guy going into the sewers was afraid they was gonna kill me for my shoes then I finds out it ain't that at all still I don't want to hear none of it look 
at that, they had someone else tied up. It's the old man or the homeless guy that was just talking, right? Or thinking, remembering. Look at that. But the truth turned out to be stronger than my um, obstinate nature. The word finally touched me. I now, now revel in the deacon's holy grace. I is saved, he said. I keep my mouth shut this round. Of course, I've heard it all before, Batman thinks. It's the classical recruiting method for all so-called religious cults. Oh, look at Deacon, he gives the, he gives the homeless guy, holds his hands and gets close. Shows him love. First, you separate the mark from all familiar surroundings. Then you starve him a while to lower his resistance. Disorientation sets in, may be followed by hallucinations. That leaves the victim terribly vulnerable to suggestion. It's not long before he experiences revelations, enlightenment. That's how Blackfire obviously gets his disciples. Stand standard brainwashing technique. But it won't work on me, Batman. Thanks. My sense of reality is too strong. Too strong. Too strong, too strong, too strong, too strong. Should be very proud. is the first major city in this country to have solved this homelessness problem uh, homeless people problem good morning Gotham how can you claim that councilman 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 Holmes I see the homeless walking the streets constantly sure you see them walking the streets but you don't see them sleeping there anymore you don't see no shanty town setups but this city's own figures show there are not enough public shelters to handle all of gotham's homeless individuals we see seem to have a major discrepancy here would you care to explain how this can be councilman gladly it's obvious that the private sector is taking care of the overflow besides i think once we check into check into it better we'll find that the problem wasn't as bad as everyone thought big smiles from the councilman what a salesman what a salesman i find that hard to believe so did i that's gotta be bruce but then again i hadn't come across anyone sleeping on the streets during any of my recent night patrols still the question remained where were all the homeless people going at night Bruce, thanks. 
now we're back into the present with Batman in the sewers tied up the Mayagari Indian Indians scuffed at the truth also they paid no, they paid for their disbelief the maize in the field died unharvested the game in the woods disappeared The Maya, Maya Gani finally had to pack up and look for new homes, new, look for a new home, but they weren't going to get off that easy. Two days into their exodus, they ran afoul another tribe. No one escaped the slaughter. Thus did they pay for their sins. All those who doubt the word must share their fate. Let the heavens rejoice. Let evil beware. Evil beware. Then, it was about a week ago, a riverside warehouse. Batman remembers. They were evil. Shining a light. Where is it shining? They deserve to die. Look at that beautiful artwork. Wow. Absolutely fantastic. The watchman had a wife and two kids. The hijackers didn't want to leave any witnesses behind. Cruel men. They killed the watchman in a warehouse, I guess. Oh, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? The night's prophets were all they cared about. VCRs worth a grand a unit on the streets. 200 units. 200,000 split four ways for two hours work. Not bad. What's the name of the box? Famous names. FN. Haha. <laughs> Home video recorder. Oh, knife comes out. Look at this. Look at this. There's people watching them. Right? The eyes and the knife sandwich the robbers. Oh, it's the homeless people. Look at that. Not bad at all. $200,000. They're about to pay the price for that. Look at the slaughter here. Wow, look at the slaughter. I showed up on the crime scene the next morning no one suggested that this might be my doing once again footprints plain footprints 
plainly told the true story. Look at all the bloody footprints, right? Look at that. They made no effort to obliterate the evidence. It was as if they didn't care who knew. Maybe they didn't. To butcher four humans the way they did, they had. Look at the blood. I figured they had to be pretty far gone. They couldn't be hearing the same music the rest of us were. I was more than mildly surprised by where, where the trail ended. And it's the manhole going into the sewers, right? linking up with the with the cover beautiful got to love comic books where the cover is part of the story beautiful coloring different coloring for different periods eh? fantastic beautiful storytelling no way to track them from here from there they had escaped into what i was soon to learn was the underworld's empire the dutch landed in 1609 one group of these pioneers landed at what 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 would eventually become Gotham City they were surprised to find no Indians in this area because of this they thought it would be safe to start two separate colonies one by the shore the other further inland where the farming would be would be better Unfortunately for them, the latter group chose the lands of the long dead Mayagani to settle on. It was in, inevi inevi it was inevitable that they stumbled upon the shaman's tomb. Of course, they didn't understand the tombs warning message Look at that. it wasn't the call of heavenly glory that made these settlers unseal the shaman's tomb these dutchmen were more in tune with the truth than were the magani mayagani they thought the cave would make a good root cellar and storage area they were fools there is the shaman again of course Shaman Blackfire sensed the vaca, vocati, vocity of these men's souls. He dealt with them accordingly.
it's been about a million years since the last since I at last ate oh they're feeding Batman they fed me the bare minimum required to maintain life No wonder there's constant buzzing in my head. Batman, thanks. The food tastes rancid, like wall paste. I'm beginning to think they're putting something in it. Might just be my imagination, though. Who cares? He's eating it. then it was foggy that night all the ugly little pieces weren't in place yet but i was beginning to see the picture disappearing homeless people vigilante murderers escaping down sewers questions without answers connections that needed filling in there's Batman up top, flying over from one rooftop to the other. Cool. The sound of a 45 caliber interrupted. Kapow! Two teenage punks with guns, one middle-aged street vendor. The odds needed evening. What was he selling? Pretzels. Oh, hot pretzels. They killed a guy who was selling hot pretzels. Oh, not a good idea. I've seen their type before. Creatures without conscience or remorse. They don't think other people matter at all. The only thing in life they care about is their own kicks. That man's pissed. Look at all the faces, eh? all the players. Four people in the scenario. No conscience, no remorse, fear and anger. Look at that. Joy and satisfaction in the burglar's face. Oh, they haven't killed him yet, they just shot him. But they're still young. Maybe they'll learn Batman things. So I decided to take it easy on them. Oh, there's a Batman coming in from behind, eh? From the shadows. Beautiful. Oh, just takes one out. Bam. But not too easy. I want them to remember. Took him out with one punch and one kick. I was anxious to get back to the down and down and outer I'd been shadowing. I've got I got careless. I paid for it. 
Oh, there's a guy behind them in the shadows with a gun. Look at that. Look at that. He didn't know there was a third person. Careless, careless. Careless, careless. Boom! Shoots at Batman. Oh, and he hits him. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Batman falls. Look at that. And he's pissed off at himself. Kathoom. The vendor decided he wasn't up to returning the favor. I just did him. Oh, the vendor runs away. There's an old saying, no good deed shall ever go unpunished. The other two punks are getting up. Oh, the guy's got bad man on the ground what an opportunity to kill the Batman to take out the Batman something happens it's a lie oh, someone stabs him in the back Look at the two punks running away in the background, right? His friends abandoned the guy that just got stabbed in the back. And who's this guy? I try to get up to thank my rescuer, but that man falls apart crashes and this is the image from the back as well right this right here that we saw here and those were the words that we read before right and the person drags batman away right now oh, let's see the graffiti the tags rules zero two two ah oh, rules ozzy ozzy rules i guess that's the vot ovt i don't know what ovt stands for and there's batman coming to he blacked out and he's coming out coming coming out of it now right slowly a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more is revealed right beautiful panel work beautiful panel work there's the deacon that was the last thing i expected to see when i came to all my questions answered behold the underworld empire batman god has sent you to us the deacon says and there's all his disciples right there i welcome you gives batman a kiss Batman's not happy about the kiss. Look at that.
the office of police commissioner james gordon say you say so you say you haven't heard from batman in over a week the commissioner asks he's disappeared for several days at a time in the past while working on a case but never this long not without hearing some word from him it's like an epidemic robin oh is that robin oh that is robin look at that he's got the cape on right and he's got the gloves you can see it right there so that's robin cool it's like an epidemic robin what do you mean he asked the commissioner People are disappearing all over town and we haven't a clue to where they're going. I tell you, Klaus, it's really scary out there. Unnatural. Two cops talking. This time of night, the square should be packed. Yeah says it should be wall-to-wall -wall pimps hookers dealers and other assorted hustlers out there it ain't though just look it out out there cops are surprised look at this nobody around let's get out of here even the cops don't want to stick around look at this the cops are out of there they burn out, drive off. Looks like it's snowing. Look at that in the light. Either raining or snowing, I guess. I would say snowing based on what we see on the tree and the bushes. Oh, look at this beautiful color work wow 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 peep show oh, the little thing there says peep show right and there's a guy standing in the doorway someone walking by crack lutes reefer no thanks the guy walking by says shithead the dealer says and look at that three hands coming out to grab him so there's got to be at least two people there right and whoop, there goes the drug dealer done so we're back to the pioneer time the next day two men from the shoreside settlement found the inland village deserted not a soul was to be found there were signs of violence there was blood but there were no bodies The only clue to ever surface about this mystery was a statement made by a trapper later that same day. There's a trapper. He claimed to have seen a marked and naked Indian walking through the woods 
coming from the settlement there's a naked Indian right there right now we're back in the sewers let me guess the naked man it was big bad deacon blackfire right batman says <laughs> the rat guy says this one has no respect for the word we tell him the parables and he laughs I have had enough of his mocking blasphemy he must be shown the error of his ways grabs a burning stick from the fire Look at that, they're torturing him. Batman knows what's coming. Yeah! Yells. They're torturing Batman, and Deacon's listening. have the doc look at him we don't want him want that burn getting infected hang in there man you've got to hold it together batman says hold it together and he drifts off into another memory Where is the bitch? Been waiting here in an hour. Of course, she'll have some lame excuse. She always does. Ain't going to hear none of that bull this time. Going to blacken the tramp's eye. Maybe I'll. So, this must be the pimp. maybe all hey you is it is it is look at his hair <laughs> who wants to know me i guess person says and who are you old man So homeless guy let's check it out let's check it out look at the faces on here beautiful artwork beautiful artwork oh no one really what you want got a message from sally the old man says sally i don't know no oh yeah sally huh. what's that whore wants Asks. Righteous vengeance, the old man says. <laughs> Madre Dios, what? Oh, he's surrounded by three people. Oh, this guy's number is up. This guy's number is up. Look at this beautiful panel work, my God. So good. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Beautiful. And then blood splatter. The 
it's got a pinkish tint to it here. Look at the color work. And there it goes. They're just off them. Right? Never seen so many missing person reports in one week, Commissioner. How many does that make now, Sergeant Dillian? Over 500, sir. Wow. And that's Robin, too, sitting on a desk. Been doing some checking on these missing persons. Came up with some interesting facts about them, like what Commissioner asks almost all the subjects of these reports have police records most of the people who reported them missing have rap sheets too interesting no the police officer asks crooks coming to the police asking them to find other crooks is more than interesting Commissioner Gordon says it's weird it's got to be really bad out on those streets for the predators to be coming to us for help the commissioner is looking out the window something very scary is going on out there personally i think the situation is terrific the crooks have owned the streets long enough it's about time honest folks got a break in this city whoever is responsible for this situation has my vote police are still mystified by the sudden and ra radical drop in crime the reporter says rumors of around as to why this this decrease in the crime rate has has occurred just rumors no solid answers when asked a police spokesman said he couldn't comment on any ongoings uh, ongo ongoing investigation which confirms at least to my satisfaction that an investigation has been started concerning these matters or this matter I never thought I'd see the day that the police would be worried about there not being enough crime in Gotham. We'll be keeping a close watch on this very unusual story as it continues to unfold. Isidro was my pimp. Ah, oh, this is uh, Sally, the prostitute, right? Isidro was my pimp, she says. Oh, look at that. We're going to take a look. We're going to take a look. I was, in his, I was in his stable for more than two years. I worked hard for the man but then he came home all coked up one night he accused me of holding out on him I tried to convince him he was wrong he wouldn't listen listen too spaced out 
that's when he pulled that's when he pulled out his straight razor oh look at that oh my god batman says and you see sally's face just totally cut up oh look at that oh he cut off his two her two fingers too shoot oh. not good not good look at Batman's face Oh my God. The Deacon. Isidro Dominga. The spoiler of young women will never harm anyone again you murdered him batman asks no we executed him it was the only just thing to do no it's wrong batman says what do you have us do leave the animal animal to run free he would have surely killed next time should have gone to the police they would have batman says they would he slapped his hand have slapped his hand and told him not to do it again deacon says that pimp would be back on the streets before Sally's blood even dried. Not like that, Batman says. Every person here can tell you a similar story, Deacon says. The system doesn't work for the poor and unfortunate innocence. But, but, Batman, he's trying to, trying to reply. How many low lives have you busted only to have them walk on the on a technicality how many vile criminals are stalking these streets free and unpunished some but the hoodlums have taken over the city it's a cesspool out there deacon says no there are still good people out there and they must be protected deacon says that is why god sent me here god batman asks every vice imaginable runs amok in the city dope prostitution murder you name it the police can no longer handle the situation but Batman is trying to, try to explain. Weak liberal laws have crippled law enforcement in this country. The degenerate animals are also aided by inhum inhuman money-hungry lawyers without conscience. Batman, yes, but... man cannot handle the evil that amasses against him but god can deacon says
this city this country is at the same crossroads of destiny that Sodom and Gomorrah were back in biblical times they must turn away or be engulfed by the darkness engulfed by insult they must they must turn away or be engulfed by the darkness it is not a choice they can make on their own they confess I have been sent to help that decision oh what has he got there snick you have been chosen to aid me in this endeavor I think he just poked Batman with a some kind of needle did he I think so some kind of drug because Batman's dozing out again look at that what did you 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 and Batman passes out be not afraid my son let the glory be revealed to you it's got to be hallucinogenic that's stripping off you must realize by now that you and I are on the same side in this battle against evil the only sensible thing for us to do is to join forces they're freeing Batman he's been totally drugged so he's harmless It's true our methods of operation differ slightly Deacon says but I'm sure I can show you why my way is better it's only a small step over the line which separates us take that step my friend you'll feel better believe me I don't begrudge you you your doubt my son divine purpose is a difficult pill to swallow look at Batman he's melting but the light of truth shall open your eyes I am the messenger of the Almighty I am the herald of great change look at Batman in the shadows look you upon the proof of my words look and behold the unquestionable cosmic truth my god I had no idea what did he show about man what did he show about man oh wow look at the total drugged out as all and 
homeless guys kneeling, praying. Totem is the symbol of, of and servant to my power. It has grown over the centuries, as has my might. Oh, great Totem, I have a non believer with me, though infidel he be. He still wishes enlightenment. Open his eyes to the grandeur. Grant him revelations. Look at the smile on the deacon's face and the horror on Batman's face. Oh, the total looks like it's moving. Look at that. Eyes open. Eyes glowing. And Batman's hallucinating. The gate into infinity opens. The wordless message reaches me. I am saved, Batman says. Look at that. Yes, yes, yes. I, I, yes, my son, speak to me, the deacon says. I see. Look at the happiness in him. He's saved. And he falls down onto the ground in front of the deacon. Take him away. He has been converted, they say. Or the deacon says. And big smiles on the deacon's face. Look at this. He's got Batman joining his cult. Who wouldn't be happy about that? Every cult leader needs a Batman. streets again Don Perry walks through one of Gotham's less well-to-do neighborhoods neither the environment nor the late hour bother him overly
his crown to adolescence on his mean on these mean streets he knows how to survive them oh he's grown to adolescence on these mean streets he knows how to survive them it's not always easy to do that in a place like this sometimes you've got to bend the law a little to get by what's he doing Don Perry doesn't consider himself a criminal. Being a bagman for a number runner ain't no big deal. Ah, oh, bagman, that's what he's doing. He's taking the money and the numbers. He's gambling. Right, right there. It's not been easy since Dad took off. Hardly ever see Mom anymore because of her job at the restaurant. The numbers help keep food on the table. Maybe they'll also provide a ticket out of this hellhole. He drops uh, some of the papers from his sketchbook. Right? There's a sketchbook. So papers are falling out. Look at that, he's a comic book artist. Don wants to be an artist someday. Folks tell him he's got talent. Don Perry. He hopes to save up enough money to go to art school someday. He don't blow his cash on dope or anything stupid like that. He collects his pages off the ground. Look at that. When Don gets older, he wants to become a famous comic book artist, just like Jack Kirby. Yes, that's his dream. Look at that. 1988, Jack Kirby drop. Unfortunately, dreams don't always come true. Oh no, look at the sticks they have. They got nails on them. Oh man, that's not good. sometimes unexpected reality gets in the way oh no look at him surround it they beat him to a pulp look at that they murder him don perry It all begun it all begins to fall into place Jake the competition is weakening while our, our own strength grows immensely only if we can keep your band of religious zealots in line who's this person that's your job to keep an eye on them Jake I'm depending on you it's all a show it's all a show just like most cults eh? look at that I convert them you control them that's the deal you sure you did a good job on the Batman you should have seen his eyes Jake he's broken he believes you know I've spent a dozen lifetimes preparing for this day i'm not about to let some mass vigilantes stand in my way shall we take a quick look the deacon says
I've watched the city grow, Jake. Even though I've always been an outsider, I felt this my whole this my was my town. Felt like I owned it. Of course, that's only been a fantasy. Always a dream, not real. The deacon says. Here's Gotham, top view. But all that's about to change. Look at that. Gotham. One of the most famous cities in the world, right? In the pages of comic books. Awesome, awesome, awesome. What a great read. And that's just issue number one, right? Let's see this. DC Comics, Janet Kahn, president and publisher. Let's see who was in play while this was going on. DC Comics, Janet Kahn, president and publisher, Dick Giordano, VP executive editor, Den O'Neill, editor, Daniel Raspler, assistant editor, Richard Brunning, art director, Terry Cunningham, manager editorial admin, Pat Bastien, manager editorial coordinator, Bob Roz Rozaki, production director, Paul Levitz, executive VP, Joe Orlando, VP creative director, Bruce Bristow, marketing director matt ragon circulation director pat calden controller very cool very cool and story by jim starlin and art by bernie wrightson and coloring by bill ray and and if you came here in the middle of the reading if you're watching this live this was a signed copy of the cult book number one by jim starlin that we just read and it's a beautiful copy and i think we took enough care of it where it probably grade wise probably went down from a 10 to a 9.9 .9. Or a 10 to a 9.8. Beautiful, beautiful copy. We should be putting this in Mylar, and I will be after this reading. Awesome, fantastic read game. What an amazing. I hadn't read this for a long time. It's been 30 years since I read this. And holy camoles, I forgot how awesome it was. What a fantastic read. What a fantastic read, right? And here is book number two, right? Continuation of the story. Capture. So this one was called Ordeal, book number one. Book number two is Capture. And then book number three is Escape right and book number four is called combat fantastic fantastic yeah i haven't read this since i picked it up but i have another copy i believe this was uh, uh copies that i bought uh, just to put just to keep because they were so beautiful uh, i'm pretty sure i have additional copies another set at least in uh in the boxes I have but we ended up reading the signed copy I gotta make sure I make a little note here that this guy's signed 
gang if you're watching this as a video thank you for being here for the reading what we're gonna do now is go back to the live stream and I'm gonna turn on the notifications and the chat and I'm gonna turn on my camera what a great read what a great read what a great read and we're only a few minutes over <laughs> only a few minutes over 15 minutes over our scheduled timing right fantastic very fun read very fantastic read batman the cult look at this look at this batman the cult you can pick this up for the cheap if you want to read the set you should be able to okay i've seen sets of batman the cult one two three and four selling for ten dollars okay that was worth the wait it's been a long time since i read that yeah elder god me too man me too and i forgot how vibrant how brilliant the coloring was i forgot how amazing amazing the panel work is i forgot how brilliant the writing is absolutely magnificent absolutely magnificent the greatest batman stories have never been told have never been portrayed in film okay the greatest batman stories if you want to read a batman story all the great ones are in comic books the comic book stories blow away any batman movies or anything that's come out okay except maybe for the batman animated series from the 1990s the batman animated series was absolutely beautiful okay especially the joker okay so batman animated series comes close to the stories told in the comic books all the movies and stuff they're fun but this blows them away absolutely blows them away in my opinion gang should we call the stream let's call the stream tomorrow morning we're doing uh music lyrics and on wednesday we're doing a cooking live stream and we're going to talk about nostalgia right which is sort of related to comic books as well welcome to discord i it looks like there are people joining discord and for those of you who are joining discord welcome to discord for those of you who've subscribed and followed uh thank you for the subscribe and follow on twitch we are on patreon if you want to follow this work i am patreon if you want to support this work i am on patreon it's a great way to support this project for those of you who've been supporting this project on patreon thank you very much for the support I don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share and share alike you can follow the work you will see everything that i'm sharing on patreon okay we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e and again thank you for the follows thank you for the subs mods thank you for taking care of business and thank you for the discussions okay and for those of you who want to participate in these live streams live as they're happening and get involved in the discussion in the chat twitch is where you want to be at i have plenty of lyrics ready for tomorrow awesome awesome i still got to go through the music today i've narrowed it down to a couple i might even just only stick with one i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on lo minds vk gap parlor and twitter all the links will be in the description of this video for live streams where we're doing open discussions no visuals involved i am recording those with a lapel mic on an external recorder and we do upload those to soundcloud soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chy chicho as podcasts and they should be available on your favorite podcasting platform my pleasure cheryl and thank you for running the polls by the way we're down to three comics for this set right down to three comics from this set and this video this reading will be uploaded to bit just like everything that we do and this 
is okay to load on YouTube as well and it will be available on YouTube and if you want to support this work through YouTube and BitChute you can subscribe you can follow you can like you can comment you can share and if you're on YouTube you can join YouTube membership Baker thanks Chicho for your videos and lives always a pleasure hello from France hello France how are you doing hope you're doing well gang I hope you have a fantastic rest of your Sunday and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow we do music and thank you for being here for these two comic book readings that we did the one from yesterday that's so Assange and the cults phenomenal so 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 good <laughs> bye everyone uh, we'll talk tomorrow and enjoy your Sunday